so, so, so what I mean is that the technology to give large fractions of radiotherapy over a short period of time. So essentially right. what all of this is doing, we used to give small doses like two gray a day over an extended period, say seven, you know, seven. And the dose fall off away is very quick because you're putting all the beams in the yeah. yeah. So that's the one thing. Six months, I think, yeah. It's, it's quite a specialist piece of care. Yeah. It's, it's very different. That's where sort of the beams go through. So yeah. that's, that yeah. controls the size, but actually this one has a sort of automated leaves which can create these different sizes. <coughs> So, so what takes place we, here? Shall we come? Th can we come yep. through this way? Yeah. Okay. So we have a, am I in yeah. on this? I would so say that's one priority. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then yeah. <coughs> that's yeah. that's a one small thing now. Who we know we've got cancer. We just want to get the best. Thing. Well, no formal request has been made by the Department of Health to uh, the military, but of course we will look as part of our normal contingency plans at a range of options. Uh, the priority for me is to continue the dialogue with the trade unions, with the RCN. I've been extremely clear that my door is open. Uh, they have raised a range of issues, not just pay, but also about working conditions, patient safety. Uh, and so I'm very happy to continue that dialogue with the RCN, but alongside that it's right that with NHSE colleagues, with hospital leaders, that we look at our contingency plans uh, and ensure we're as best prepared as we can, recognising that there will be impacts on patients if the strikes go ahead.